You've known for 24 hours that an unregistered wizard set magical beasts loose in New York. So, you're the guy with the case full of monsters, huh? Use travels first. Mr. Scrander, do you know anything about the wizarding community in America? We don't let things loose. Hey, Mr. English guy, I think your egg is hatching. You wiped his memory, right? The no magic. The what? No magic. The non wizard. I don't think I'm dreaming. I'll give it away. I ain't got the brains to make this up. Something is stalking our city, wreaking destruction, and then disappearing without a trace. Witches live among us. Ask all of you, who does this protect? Us or them? From Tribute, yes, MSN. I'm good, how are you? Good, how's it going? It's going good. Um, you've been a part, your character, News Commander, is such an interesting one, and he has a passion for animals. Yeah. So how do you identify with your character? I, I love that he's passionate. I always think it's a really attractive quality in people, whatever their passions are. Um, and I, but I also love that he's his own person. He's not a people pleaser. Um, he's not a warrior. He kind of gets on with like qualities that are very different from me. And uh, I found him quite... Quite a role model in some ways. Yeah. Dumbledore and Newt will be playing in the next sequel together, so I want to know how if you, you know? could. How do you know? <laughs> if Newt could play any other character from the Harry Potter franchise, if you could play with him, who would it be? Well, Catherine and I talk about this quite a lot, and we're both Dobby fans. Oh, no way. And, I, and like, even thinking about Dobby's death brings a kind of gentle, genuine tear to my eye, uh, sporadically. Uh, but, um, so maybe Dobby. What was it like working with Eddie? so much fun. Above all, it was fun. Um, we work in a very similar way and um, we're very nerdy and uh, like to try different things and so I felt like I really had a partner I could play with and play off of and bounce ideas off of and fail in front of and wouldn't be humiliated, which I think is a very important part of acting. You know, you is there anything that we don't know about Eddie that you can tell us? Probably knows quite a deal, uh, quite a lot about him. Um, he's, you know, he's so. He, everybody knows he's a really nice guy, right? But he can be a little wicked sometimes. What makes Eddie the best person to play the role? What did he bring to the table that made him the best person to play Newt Scamander? He's quintessentially British. He's got a boyish charm, and we were asking him to play a character who's really naughty and a bit awkward. So he could do that with real authenticity, but with a warmth, which is a, a sort of difficult balancing act to do. And I love Eddie's work because it has so much humanity. You know, every time you put a camera on Eddie Redmayne, you see this soul, and it moves you. It moves me anyway. So um, that's why we wanted Eddie to be in the movie. You have both been part of the franchise for so long, the Harry Potter franchise. What was it like being a part of now, the Fantastic Beasts? What made you go back to the world of... Um, you start. Primarily the script. J.K. Rowling wrote this marvelous script, and it's uh, whimsical and fun and dramatic. That was the first thing. Second thing was coming back to work with people like this. You know, it was something wonderful about working with the people that you'd worked with before, who you really adore. But probably most importantly, got to work with... Joe Rowling on the screenplay and that was a really interesting and rewarding experience. You know, we weren't adapting her books, she was actually writing the thing that we were shooting and for all of us that was great fun. Um, so when, when, you know, it, it never really left me. So when the, we were thinking about ways of returning to it and when this came up, how can one not leap? It's the most glorious world to inhabit. You make big entertainments that are accessible and also resonate. They're not just froth, they're not product. We put ourselves in them and they are about each and every one of us. And I think that is, it's a privilege to be a part of 
a world like this. What's the best part about working with J.K. Rowling on this film? And David Yates, of course. Um, well, working with J.K., I mean, she writes these incredible characters. They're archetypical characters. They're, they're so beautiful, and they're also not cynical. And it's really amazing in this day and age where people, we, we kind of like make fun of things. We're afraid to care. And she writes these really pure people. And um, that was a joy. And also just to be a part of this world that she creates, which is so vivid and, and wonderful.